New shooter coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by B&H and Atomos. Merrick Naso with NewShooter.com, and we're at NAB 2023. I'm with Patrick at the Innovative booth. And Patrick, you got a really cool cart here. I mean, it looks familiar, but it's got something special going on. Yes, absolutely. So this is our Apollo cart with a motorized, uh, dual motorized system on it um, that can push 1,200 pounds, all battery operated, um, can go 40 miles. Uh, will last a long time. Yeah, fully integration, all that kind of stuff, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. We all know a cart at 600 pounds, 200 pounds, you try to get push it up a yeah. ramp. You have a lot of gear, you get, I mean, this is really something people are probably really excited to see. Yeah, absolutely. I think that a lot of, you know, you push around a lot of gear, uh -huh. but the minute you get onto an incline, you realize, oh. wow, I wish I had power for this. Or, or like, a little bit of grass, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, like yeah, gravel yeah. or something. You just ah, oh. yeah, yeah. Any anything, yeah. yeah. Anything's going to make your life easier if you have power to it. So, um, that that is our goal. Certainly, we want to. You know, people, customers have been asking us for something like this for quite some time. Mm. Um, there are obstacles, right? I think batteries have come a long way. The the compactness of motors and stuff like that have come a long way and the ability to program with this stuff has come a long way and allowed us to, I think, finally converge with that and bring it to our product and, mm. and give the customers what they want. And you know, like you were, you were saying, you know, the e-bikes really, because they need to have long range too, you know, you know, that's kind of the, the sort of way you went with the battery? Yeah, so it's a 48 volt lithium ion battery, um, very similar to an e-bike battery. Um, and the, so if, if you, I'm trying to explain how it all works, but basically yeah. there's two, motorized wheels in the back that are fed through or wire through a control box and charger and a battery, right? right. And then ultimately into the throttle where your, your hand goes and controls it. And so there's a couple things there that we have to do. One is certainly the um, uh, making sure that the, the, the motors themselves are synced up, right? That they're moving at the same speed. And then of course yeah. your throttle curve and all that stuff so it's not pulling away from you. So there are some things, some little things that you have to do differently than a bike, but um, in all, it's very similar. Is there a braking system on the motor too, or it's just, you know, you just basically stop giving it some juice? Yeah, so it's a freewheel hub for the most part. If, mm -hmm. if, if you think about a bike, that's what you would call it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you pull the power off, it's still going to roll. It's still gonna, You're still going to be able to move your car. You're not going to feel resistance from that. The um, minute you put your power on, you have your forward and your reverse. Um, we don't, we're not doing regenerative braking. We're not, it doesn't have a brake in it at all. And the, the production product will actually have our hydraulic brake system on it as your brake and the foot brake as well. Ah, very nice, very nice. Yeah. And, and you guys are obviously very much into being toolless, making things simple out in the field. Nobody wants to you know, find the screws that fell on the carpet yeah, <laughs> and yeah. try to put it together. Yeah. You sort of done that same you know, sort of set up with the, the, the grip, the hand grip and the controller. Talk to me about how important that is. Yeah, I mean, that is, that is a very important thing for us is that we also have to think about the legacy Apollo users that we want them to have the opportunity to bolt the system on. So thinking about how the system works in the first place, how the Apollo works in the first place, mm -hmm. we retained the way that the, the wheels connect to the dovetail and the battery system, the control box, everything that's integrated in the, in the lower docking drawer does just bolt onto the bottom of the car to existing holes. Um, and then ultimately you have your throttle cable that comes up and it mounts to the existing grip. It really is there you go. simple. It's like 12 bolts, I think. That's know? awesome, yeah. that's really great. So if I had an Apollo, could I up upgrade it and get it motorized? Yeah, that's that's the goal for sure. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to come out at the same time, but uh, yes. And it, it'll break down just like the Apollo, because it is the Apollo, but basically. Well. It, <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, yes, you could do it. You would have to unbolt the, the system, yeah. but that's one of the reasons why we went with the Apollo is it's the heaviest duty cart, and if you put this on there, you're likely not to break it down that often. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And uh, as far as how much does it kind of weigh, the whole system, you ballpark it? Ballpark about 140 pounds, fully turnkey. Um, the cart itself weighs about 100, and then another 40 pounds of battery and motorized wheels and everything else that goes along with it. All right, anything else you want to add that I haven't ha uh, touched on? Uh, no, I think that's probably it, yeah. Yeah, I think you covered it. <laughs> All right, it. yeah, I think it's going to be a, a big hit. I, I pushed my cart around. I mean, it's, I load it up. I'm not, I don't do in 600 pounds, but I get pretty close to, you know, a couple hundred, 300 yeah. pounds. And like you said, pushing it up a, a ramp or carpet, 
not having it, you know, you're already setting the stuff up. Now you're know, getting it on and off the cart and moving it around. So yeah, it's a, a really lot of great our users thing. Users are using ramps to get their, you know, their end users that are putting their carts in a in a van. Right. That last and push. Getting it through like a fully built, assembled everything oh. on it. Oftentimes you're tearing that down just to get it into the van. So yeah. this is going to save you time. You're not going yeah. to have to break all that stuff down. You just roll it in. Awesome. Do we have a pricing idea and when it be available? I don't, have, I don't have a pricing idea yet. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to mention it. Um, but availability is just around the corner. So summer 2023. All right. Yeah. So if the people are interested, just check, check the website. Keep yeah. us updated. Yep, uh, go to innovative.com for any details of any of our products, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, you'll see everything. Awesome, thank yeah. you Patrick. Thank you.